Oh. Oh. Do you ever have a good nose scratch? Just right, right here. Right in that little like nose crease. You ever just get an itch for no reason? You know, like nothing touched you. You don't have a rash or, or a zit or something. It's just itchy nose. Maybe I'm the only one, who knows? But uh, uh, who knows, get it? It's a pun on Tuesday! <laughs>So, how do I eat these days? Usually, uh, it's an OMAD. It's one meal a day. I'm just kind of taking inventory of my life right now. And I miss long-term fasting. I'm not fasting in a crazy way anymore. And not that fasting was ever crazy, but as far as three plus days, I haven't done that in quite a while, given that I walk eight plus miles every day reaching out to customers, setting appointments for solar consultations and whatnot. So no long-term fasting in a while, but that one meal a day does wonders for the body. I love it. Some days I'll do uh, an eating window. So something like a breakfast and a lunch. Other days I'll do a dinner and a breakfast, but almost always there's a breakfast. Start that day, big old pile of food and give myself the energy itchy knee, I got itchy knee, uh, and give myself the energy needed to make it through the rest of the day. Uh, a lot of times afternoons are okay because you just have a little bit of coffee or something to kind of carry you through that, but evenings get kind of hard. You get home, yeah, maybe you make yourself some tea, but otherwise it's, it's best to just hop in the shower, go right to bed. The longer you think about it, the longer you stare at that fridge over there, the more likely it is that you're going to break your fast and have some dinner or something, especially after you've been doing really low intensity cardio, like walking all day. Uh, like I said, I walk usually between five and 10 miles, about eight is a, is a good average. And I do that daily in the gym, wake up 6 a.m., go to the gym, do strength training and sprints, and then come home, eat breakfast. Uh, do any kind of personal errands I need to do. This includes things like wedding thank you cards, um, bill pay, etc. What are your regular errands, right? And uh, then head to work, do that walking, come home, have dinner with the wife or with guests or, or whatever's happening as far as evening plans, go to bed. And that's, that's pretty much how my eating habits are going now. One to two meals a day, rarely. There you go. How have the results been? Uh, I'm down to 165 pounds and looking a lot leaner. The recomposition of my body is going really, really well. Um, I need to focus more on strength training. I've, I've been doing either every day and then fall off because I have like a, a tweaked knee or, or like my shoulder kind of popping or something and so I'm not quite getting the recovery I need when I do an everyday type of strength training workout. So this week I've modified that to every other day and the days in between I'm doing uh, body weight exercises that are very low impact. So in, I really like explosive lunges, let's say. Uh, I don't do those on my days off. <laughs> I do something like a body weight squat, very low impact. Okay, and you can do a hundred of them and feel great about yourself and not overextend any kind of capabilities of your joints, tendons, muscles, etc. right? That's very helpful for recovery on those off days. In this case, Tuesday, Thursday. I was at the gym yesterday, it's Tuesday now. Tomorrow I'll be back in the gym. Does that make sense? Um, yeah, so that's, that's how fasting and exercise works for me right now while I'm in this training program and knocking doors. It's, it gets a little difficult to hit that gym every day when you're also walking eight miles every day. And I know that is absolutely an excuse. Absolutely an excuse. Think about farmers. Think about soldiers. Do you think they ever don't do their physical exercise every day? No. Farmer doesn't do his work, people starve, or the animals starve on the farm. A soldier doesn't do his work, he dies. <laughs> I, 
thank you for your service. Uh, but to just make that point, uh, it's all in your head. Right? Eventually, every day could work, especially if I lowered volume. And I've been doing kind of a weird thing, not really following a strength building routine or uh, any particular routine you've heard of. I turned 30. And so I've been focusing on getting 30 reps of an exercise in whenever I'm doing an exercise. It doesn't necessarily have to be in one set, but I don't know. I just want to do like 30 at 30. I Weird. I'll probably go back to something like five by five or uh, uh, maybe a pyramid setup. I don't know. I don't know. I don't care right now. The fact is that I'm lifting, getting cardio in, feeling good about myself. And that's what matters, right? That's why we do what we do with, with diet and exercise. So we can feel good about ourselves, so we can feel healthy and good in general. We function well. And I'm doing all those things. So what more could I ask for? Good luck to you on your fitness journey. Hopefully your diet and exercise are treating you well. Comment down below what you do to stay on top of your game, to be at 100%. Let me know, because I'm always looking for inspiration. Maybe you're doing something that I could do and then we'll both do it better. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Have a great day.